So today I want to talk to you about some whole house reverse osmosis systems and their booster pumps. All right. A lot of whole house ROs, they come with a booster pump. Most of the pumps coming now, they're a small little pump that only does about 90 PSI. That's not what you want. Our systems pump 150 PSI and give a lot better water quality. So what that means to you is when you have lower pressure, you're not getting as high as pressure and you're not getting as much contaminants out of the water. With higher, higher pressures, you get more total dissolved solids out of the water. And as you can see, our unit here, it has stainless steel pump, but it also has long, skinny pump. That's the shaft of the pump. That's the wet end of the pump. That's where the water goes through to get its pressure. If you don't have a long stainless steel nose like that, you're not going to get the high pressure you want. And I'll show you some examples here in a minute. All right, so this is what we're talking about. Some of the pumps look like this. All right. Decent pump. Works good. Only builds about 100 PSI and only does about five gallons a minute. So at most, all you're making is five gallons a minute. So if you're making one gallon of good water, you're wasting four gallons of bad water. And all you're adding up to between product and waste is five gallons. Okay? Same thing with this one. Same exact thing. A lot of companies are chintzing out and going cheap on the pump and giving you less quality water and less gallons per minute. Okay? Again, this one's between four, four and a half gallons a minute. All right? Has a controller on it. But again, pressure. 90 pounds, okay? Our pumps, 150 to 200 PSI. You're going to get the best water quality possible, okay? So our booster pump here, you're going to get about 7 gallons a minute, all right? So as you know, our systems make 1 gallon of good water and only waste 2 gallons of bad water. So 7 gallons a minute, you're going to be 3.5 to 7. These ones here, a lot less efficient. So when you're shopping ROs and you're looking to buy a reverse osmosis system, make sure that it comes with a booster pump and they actually mean a booster pump with a long shaft, all right? You don't want a stub nose booster pump that only builds a 90 PSI, okay? If you look up the definition of reverse osmosis, it's going to tell you it's high pressure. Anything over 120, 150 PSI is considered high pressure. My well pump alone that's in the ground can boost up to 70, 80 PSI. So what would be the point of having a, a booster pump if my well pump's going to 90 PSI anyways? All right, so this is where we manufacture our reverse osmosis systems. We put them all together here. And guys, we, we know what we're doing. We've been doing this for 15 years. We have the most efficient valves on the market. Our systems waste the least amount of water. We backwash with clean water instead of uh, dirty water in the reverse direction. Um, all right, so definitely give us a call. We have the best product on the market. So ours are going to save you a little more electricity down the long run. They're going to save you more water. They're going to save uh, energy. And it's all around a lot better system with a lot more features. Give us a call, 239-201-2074.